Hi everyone, happy Saturday. So recently I have been using Power Apps and Power Automate a lot. One of the problems I face is when a user uh, click on some submit button in uh, Power Apps and uh, run my Power Automate flow, um, it uses their credentials and then uh, they can't uh, send email um, and then uh, they can't update uh, SharePoint if there's a flow uh, that needs to update uh, SharePoint because it's using their account. So I face a lot of problem. So I have done a bit of research. Um, so this video is to show you how to enable other users in uh, SharePoint to run your flow using your account or your service account or your robot account. So I recommend that when you create a Power Automate flow, um, go to your IT department and ask for a service account so that uh, when you leave the company, um, some users still can uh, go to the, uh, the, the service account flow still can be used and uh, you can uh, hand over the service account to someone else. So it's, it's good for your reputation. Um, if you leave the company, the flow will still be uh, all right. Um, so let's begin. Hello everyone. My name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use office work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step is uh, go to your Power Automate flow, right? And then go to edit. And then on your right hand side, at the top, uh, sorry, at the bottom right of your screen, there's this run only users, right? What you do is you click on uh, the edit button. Okay. And uh, click on the SharePoint. And then choose the site uh, of uh, where your Microsoft list is, right? And then uh, select the list. So remember, the the users need to set need to set uh, need to be set up as um, uh, people who can edit the list. So if you don't have the list and you want to use this, so just create a list and then uh, just give the users uh, edit permission to uh, edit the list right then you click on add then at the bottom here right connection use just change all the connection to the uh, your account or the robot account or the service account right just uh, instead of uh, some some other selection just say use this connection your service account or and then use this account for approval yes yeah, sorry use this connection for approval and uh, use this connection uh, which is your service account so when the user trigger the flow the service account credentials will be used and then your flow will flow uh, correctly and not stuck because of uh, wrong credentials uh, i hope this video has helped you um, yeah, if you like this video, please give the video a like and please remember to subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video.